Karens are some of the most entitled and annoying people there are. But what happens when these same Karens are racist and get arrested because of it? We don't want you here. We don't want you here. If things are so great in your country, then stay there. Here are four cases when racist Karens realized they were going to jail. Starting with the case of this Karen, who was driving at high speeds through a heavily crowded area. And when confronted by officers, she complained that she was being treated like a black man and should be let go. On November the 24th of 2022, a woman was driving recklessly close to a Thanksgiving event in the area. Her reckless driving had put runners in danger and officers immediately attempted to pull her over. What in the is this? I'm trying to get home. However, she continued speeding through until she eventually stopped and was immediately cuffed and simply could not believe it. As soon as she was arrested, she had attempted to appeal to the officer's emotions by crying and complaining about her emotional state of mind. Are you kidding me? Somebody come get your car, please. No, I don't have anybody. You guys, please don't. I just got a divorce. I'm trying to move. Please don't do this. What are you doing? But the officers were clearly not interested in hearing it, and they continued to proceed by placing her in their cruiser without paying attention to any of her complaints. After being put in the car, the woman simply refused to go peacefully. She began screaming and sobbing and begging for help. But as the officers were completing the paperwork for her arrest, they initially ignored her. Like, why are you letting her? However, eventually she began violently hitting the car door, so one of the officers warned her that she would be pepper sprayed if she didn't stop. Instead of stopping, she only became more loud. Dude, I live in a $3 million house down the street. Can you write me up? My daughter, I'm going to lose my daughter today. Look at this. You kicked the window. That's my head. I didn't kick the window. Whatever you do, you bang your head in the window. Whatever. You don't sit here properly. I'm going to How long are we doing this for? Throughout her time in the police cruiser, she continued begging and crying and screaming. She was pepper sprayed twice for her failure to calm down. These assholes! No, you, no, you did not! Get back in the car now. Back in the car. Get back in the car. And when she realized that crying was not getting her what she wanted, she resorted to another technique, making fun of the officers between you guys and then I'm also doing a full-blown appeal on Judge Hellinger to have him removed because I was just given the most unfair trial ever. You psychopaths, you guys are, I cannot wait to take this to court and put it all over the internet. Maybe if you um, actually like, I don't know, worried about crime, like it would be a safer like town. She threatened to sue them and to post that she was pepper sprayed and harassed by police officers on social media. However, as she kept throwing her fit, she exposed why she felt that she was being unfairly treated. Is that a no? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna ask you again. I don't know. Your car's gonna get towed, right? They're gonna do an inventory. Can, can my car? ex go get the car? Please. Uh, answer the phone. Um, can I give you another so, number? So, you guys having fun this morning? Did I give you guys a whole bunch of entertainment today? So you guys can all like huddle around and talk about the crazy white woman that you pepper sprayed on Thanksgiving. Cause you guys are pieces of shit. I can't wait to take you guys to court. When the officers criticized her for making such a comment, she continued to reiterate her point as she stated, quote, you're definitely treating me like a colored person. Further asserting that she was going to appeal the matter in court because they arrested a white woman and pepper sprayed her on Thanksgiving. And, and, and what am I, some black like kid on a bike who's in the wrong neighborhood? And you guys beat me down with all this pepper spray? Because that's what you guys do. The color of her skin was not the only reason this Karen thought she shouldn't be arrested. In addition to her further racist comments, she stated how she lived in a $3 million house and should be treated differently, despite her ever so questionable behavior. 
I mean, yeah, I definitely feel like a black dude who, like, rode his bike up from, like, the South Trail right now is how you're treating me. And actually, I live in a $3 million house down the street. Yeah? You guys are just jealous, too, because you guys make, like, $12 an hour. Probably sucks to be an officer. After she was done with her racist and privileged rants, she was eventually taken into custody, where she would be charged with two counts of fleeing law enforcement and one count of obstructing or resisting a police officer without violence. This Karen faced the consequences of her actions, but in the next case, a different Karen managed to avoid a court sentence, thanks to the mercy of the very person she had been racist towards. Under arrest for battery. I didn't do any battery. No, when you spit on people, that's did, battery. No, I did not. Listen, he verbally abused me. Well, that doesn't give you the right to spit on him. That's what. You verbally abused me as soon as I got here. Did I spit on you? In March of 2021, a woman went on a full racist rant against Muslims in a South Florida Walgreens. The Muslim family was going on about their business when the woman was asked to put on a mask by the Walgreens staff. Instead of complying, she instantly turned her attention to the Muslim family and said that she wished that she was from their country where they don't have to put on masks. The Muslims responded that they were from New York and this made the woman absolutely lose her mind. You're under arrest for battery. No, yep, yeah, definitely doing that. Purse. Yeah, they're handcuffs. They're not for comfort. Can I take my purse? Absolutely. Come oh, on. Oh, please don't. No, oh, don't no, you're definitely going to jail. Let's go. Walk. She then went on a rant, making countless Islamophobic and racist remarks at the family. As both parties exchanged words, she spat on one member of the family and threatened to spit on another as she continued her anti-Muslim outburst. The police arrived and put her in handcuffs, but just moments before, she had another altercation, this time with a black police officer. While her interaction with the officer was not caught on camera, from the officer's annoyance and the words that they exchanged, it was clear that something had already happened between them. It doesn't matter why. Yes. And you probably put yourself in the position no, I didn't. That. That's a typical man. As the officer told her she was getting arrested for battery, she complained that she did not attack anyone. However, unfortunately for her, spitting on people is considered a form of battery, and she was about to learn this firsthand. Now attempting to defend herself, she tried to justify spitting on the man, claiming that the man verbally abused her. Under arrest for battery. I didn't do any battery. No, when you spit on people, that's I battery. No, I did not. Listen. He verbally abused me. Well, that doesn't give you the right to spit on him. Guess what? You verbally abused me as soon as I got here. Did I spit on you? She was taken outside after being placed in handcuffs to be put into the police car, but she still did not believe that she could be arrested for harassing Muslims. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Officer. Officer, this is unbelievable. Let's go. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, I'll get a good attorney. God bless you. Yep. God bless me. God, because I'm a Christian. As the officers were preparing to put her into the car, the family that she harassed informed them that they did not want to press charges. All they asked for was an apology, and once they received one, she was released without charges. This officer saw me last night. I've been having a lot happen in my life. Really? You think that's going to happen? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you, but you, okay, okay, you, okay, you okay, apologize yeah. to too. So I, to I apologize. I'm not a racist. I have friends that are Muslim. Okay? I have friends that are Muslim. However, this next Karen was not so fortunate as she would be taken to the police station and charged for her extremely racist behavior at a local bar. You're going to pretend like you don't know what happened to me? I don't know why I don't know what happened. Even though the police department continued to investigate me when they had no right. On August the 11th of 2021, La Crosse police officers arrived at a bar after receiving numerous calls that they had gotten about an intoxicated woman who was harassing patrons at the bar. However, this was not the first encounter the woman had with the police, as officers had responded to another call of her doing the same thing in a different bar. The woman in question was Christina Cabot, who happened to be the wife of former La Crosse Mayor Tim Cabot. Multiple people in the bar narrated how she had harassed people, refusing to leave when the owner of the bar directed her to. Just, yeah, maybe 
take her and take her to the next city over. <laughs> like they're doing she's, lots she's of things. Had to people push people. Okay. Witnesses also reported that she had pushed people off of their seats and told a black woman that she, quote, didn't like her because she was black. She walked into me, why are you in here? I said, oh, it's cool part. I don't like you, you're black. I said, you know what I mean? As the officers were collecting testimonies from eyewitnesses, a man walked up to the officers and tried to vouch for the woman, claiming that she was a kind of woman who had done nothing wrong. Yeah, I'd just like to put in a good word for uh, that lady right there. She's, okay. she's an okay lady. She's okay? Yeah, she's an okay lady. Okay. I appreciate that. Yeah, I just wanted to put in a good word for her. But the reliability of this testimony was questionable, as afterwards she approached and paid the man money right in front of the officers. You come over here and talk to me. And my name is Christina, and you know me. I'm just, I'm just calling Don't you, ma'am. Call Why? Christina. Okay. Christina, is it okay if we talk over here, Christina? No, I, would, I don't know what you want to talk to me about. Okay. Given the eyewitness accounts that the officers had heard and what they had seen her do, they decided to arrest her. Christina, just want to make sure he's not going to too tight. I'm going to get that. I'll make sure they take it because I don't know the person. Christina, I'll... You guys think I deserve to be arrested right now? Yeah, I'll, I'll get it for you, okay? Uh -huh. Do you first, think I deserve the, to be arrested right now? What's your police charge? Getting her into the vehicle would present a lot of trouble. When they got to the station, they needed six officers and a wheelchair just to get her into the facility. You guys are really hurting me. What are you doing? God, I must be so. Even though she was a former mayor's wife, she would be charged with disorderly conduct, but it's nothing compared to what this next woman received for hating against four Indian women in a parking lot. Go back to India. Why? We don't want you here. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. If then you're so great in your country, then stay there. On August the 24th of 2022, a Mexican woman later identified as Esmeralda Upton poured out her hateful feelings towards four women simply because they were Indian. Did we even talk to you? Why did you walk up to us to talk to you? Because, because I hate you fucking Indians, that's why. So you, you if you guys come Mexican. to our country, why? if you are Mexican, why don't you go back to Mexico? She repeatedly used racist phrases and slurs relating to their skin color and threw in many other violently offensive curse words. As if the discriminatory comments were not enough, she didn't stop there because she even physically assaulted one of them, hitting her multiple times as she got more and more angry. Oh, oh, oh. Come, come closer. Come closer. Oh my God, guys, record. She's hitting me. She's hitting me. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, she's oh my God. Oh, she's hitting me. She's hitting me. The women continued videoing her, and one of them even called the police for help. But while she was speaking to the police on the phone, Upton attempted to hit the phone out of her hand and began making a video of her own. She's standing in front of me. We have it all on video. We have four of us. Yeah, and she she threatened us with she threatened. Okay. Uh, she's uh, she's a white woman wearing a black dress. No, I'm not white. I'm. Mexican. She's Mex I'm Mexican. And I paid my way here. Oh my God, she's hitting my friend now. She's I am not hitting your friend. After many more minutes of Upton throwing racial slurs at the women, the police eventually arrived in response to the woman's call. Upton would not be arrested, but instead, someone was allowed to pick her up and the police arrested her the next day, charging her with assault and making terroristic threats. In addition to this, two of the women that she had harassed initiated civil lawsuits against her for her actions on that day. If you enjoy true crime content like this, make sure you're subscribed to see more.